alam niyo hindi ako basta nagtatapon lang ng mga lumang bagay or kagamitan kasi mapakinabangan naman ito in the future. Lumang relasyon, tinatapon ko. When it comes to that, my motto is forget everything. <laughs> Here's the one for this video. An old device, an old Android phone that is still working. I am using this as an IP camera or security camera like the ones of Xiaomi and Tapo. And here's how to do it. But first, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet to support my future projects. Also, click that notification bell. There are several apps and browser-based applications that you can use to connect your old phone to the net so that you can use its camera to monitor your homes from virtually anywhere. I have choose EWI Link for this purpose because I have a number of EWI Link devices. So here's the way to convert your old Android phone to a security camera. Download the EWI Link app from the Google Play Store and install it to your regular phone or tablet if you haven't yet. I meant your regular phone, the one that you're going to use to monitor the camera phone. Next, create an account. On your old Android phone, download the EWI Link camera app and install it to your phone. The file is only about 15 MB. Allow all permissions asked by the app. Log into your EWI Link account. If your EWI Link account is a free plan, you are only entitled to add one EWI Link camera. If you have a paid account, then you can add up to five EWI Link cameras. Also, if you install the EWI Link camera app on the same phone where you have your EWI Link app, you will receive this advice. The two apps should be installed in separate phones, your regular phone and your old phone which you intend to use as camera. You can install both apps on the same phone provided you're using different accounts for the two apps. So, ito na yung old phone ko. is a Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, I have restored this uh, phone because it had a broken um, glass and also the battery. I had also, I had also to replace it. Um, check the, the link here above. On the home page, you can uh, see the EV link camera. That's the shortcut. Then by default, it is on uh, landscape mode, so we have to turn it. Uh, the zoom lens is permanent. You cannot uh, pinch the uh, screen to zoom in and zoom out. For the app setting on the phone, on the left panel, there's the low power mode button, which put the brightness of the screen to the lowest. Double tap the screen to resume normal brightness. Press confirm to use the low power mode. Next on the panel is the local recording. If you turn it on, you'll be recording the video taken by the camera on the phone's local storage. You can check the recording on the gallery. There's an album there, Record uh, EV Link. So open that and you can see your recorded video. Then you can set your recording. The recording time can be set up to 362 hours and 29 minutes. It's a loop recording, so the most recent video will be kept as soon as the recording reaches the maximum. The settings allow you to choose the front or rear camera on the phone. You can also opt to turn on or off the microphone. And there's the overheat protection. Turn it on since most phones will heat up when you're using the camera for a long time. There's also a Bluetooth accessory which you can pair other devices to the camera phone. Profile button is all about the app and there's also the lag out button. Aside from your regular phone, you can also monitor the EV Link camera on any Google uh, smart display like the Google Nest Hub or any smart display with Chromecast provided that your EV Link account is uh, linked with the Google Home. Okay, as you can see in the background is my uh, Google Nest Hub 2. I'm going to focus that. Now, if I'm going to open the hub, see there, camera. Then you can see here EV Link Camera S6. So it refers to this uh, EV Link Cam. Now I'm going to press this one to open. 
the S6 EV link cam is streaming to my Google Nest Hub too. <laughs> like uh, feedback siya. you see so in short you can use any smart display to stream the e-wheeling camera or any camera phone that you're going to use as an IP camera through the e-wheeling app then you can stream that to any smart uh, display you can see here the word live so it means live okay and Ito yung camera natin. So this is the camera. And ito naman ang kuha ng camera natin na we are streaming to the Nest Hub 2. And so far, as I observed, maganda yung streaming niya. Hindi siya napuputol. Tsaka walang lag. Kung meron man, kunti lang. No? Madali lang siya mag-connect and at the same time, um, di siya wala puputol. Uh, as what I have uh, observed in many uh, streaming that I have done. When it comes to the quality of the stream and recorded videos, this will depend on the capabilities of your old phone. I chose the AWE Link app because it's straightforward and besides, I can link the camera to other AWE Link devices. I can bind the eWheeling camera to any of my eWheeling devices. For example, if I am going to check whether or not the bulb in my temporary workshop is on, I can view the area through the eWheeling camera, which I link to the eWheeling smart switch in my workshop. So what are you waiting for? Take those old phones out of the boxes and maximize it. If you have questions about this video, please comment below and I will gladly reply to your queries. Please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Dengan selamat, aku si Jun Teriman, Hightech Tabai.